Hi guys, it's Elmer again, your fire protection guy. Today we're going to teach you how to test a 3030 Honeywell fire indicating panel. So let's start. Honeywell 3030 fire detection system. We're going to do a monthly testing. First, we're going to isolate or put the wrong tech alarm signal equipment into a test mode. And then the emergency warning system is normal on auto mode. We're going to isolate the alarm devices, one and two. We're going to have a disabled light port there. And then we're going to start initiating an active device. So let's press the menu. When you press the menu, it's going to this main menu screen. So you program out their status. You're going to ask your password. The password is eight, eight, uh, sorry, eight zeros, eight zeros. And then you are going to alter status. During an alarm simulation, you are testing the fire indication system. The device identification, you are going to use that if you want to locate a detector. For example, an intermittent detector, you want to locate, use a device identification. Let's try this one. And then, they're going to ask you what detector you want to identify. So you just press, for example, that's loop one detector one. You just just loop one detector seven, just pressing these numbers. And then you turn the LED on. And the detector that you're searching for will lit up. Okay, then let's go back. Second one is change time and date. So you can change the time and date. There's a time. After you change the time and date, you just press accept. All right? And it goes back. Now, clear history. If you want to get rid of all the history and start from zero again, you just can clear the history. For example, we want to clear that history. All history. And now, are you sure? Yes, I am so sure. So it will delete all the history of the system and then we go back back and then now we're going to start testing alarm simulation i will choose loop 7 detector 27 because that's the one near the fire system so it's blinking i will press zero loop 7 Detector zero to seven. That's my detector. And then I will activate the device. But before I activate the device, make sure your ASE is on a test mode. So I will activate the device and then my occupant warning system is on automatic. Right? So the alarm go up, you got this. Because it's still isolated, we de-isolate that. Silence first, the noise. We isolate that. We isolate or enable. And then we have this. Immediately switch to isolate. Silence. Okay, all those will be clear. In my video, it's blinking, but actually it's not here. All right, now, Perfectly, you now identify that the system works on automatic mode. You got the alarm on the ASE. And then, by releasing this, you can also check the strobe, the fire brigade strobe outside. Now, let's reset the system. So, we disable that. And then, we go into silence. Press the silence button. 
the side and slide come up and then you can reset. System is resetting. It has a pull, let's silence that. Okay. Now, this one, we're going to clear. If we press this and there's no alarm in the system, we are clearing everything. So press this button, put your finger for three seconds, and that will clear. So there's no problem with that. And let's try to fix that fault. Okay. I'll try to reset it. System reset. The fault cleared now. No. All good. So the system is now normal. So we have completed our test, the ASE no fault, no alarm. The emergency warning system is clear. We can put back to auto mode, auto mode and we completed our test. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something in this video. This is Elber again, your fire protection guy. See you next time.